The biggest scandal in FIFA esports history happened in the FIFA E World Cup final between Manu Bashore and Mark Levin. Mark played with the controller on the screen and FIFA decided to put his POV up on the big screen at the event so everyone could see exactly where Mark was putting his penalties. I tried to get the referee's attention seven times before and during the penalty shootout and tried to get his POV off the big screen. Look, Mark clocks it. Look, Mark clocks it there. Look, look, he clocks it straight away. How has it not been stopped? Oh, dude. Oh my God, so bad. The ref goes over to Manuel Renzo, and this is what was said. Nothing was done. Mark lost the pen shoe out and possibly screwed out of an extra $150,000. And Footwins Dan, who is the owner of Footwins, basically put it perfectly. Manu and Hulley are not the issue here and no one's saying they cheated because they haven't. There's physical proof they haven't. But it's the fact that Mark had put his hand up multiple times, seven to be exact, and no one listened to him. And then when they did, a ref's gone over to Manu and Renzo, told him to stop the shoe out, and then has backed away and walked off. And nothing was changed. So what and Dan put it. What happens is Manu maybe heard the ref and stopped playing. Like, it's just, it was too late at that point. And at the end of the day, it's, this should have been sorted when Mark put his hand up before the pen shootout taken. That's why when he was taking the pens, he took the first two pens, which he both missed, by the way. He took a ridiculous amount of time. He took nearly the whole time up. To take the pen because he was trying to get referee's attention and it's just the incompetence of the rest from fifa and it's not this is like this has just been the whole entirety of fifa esports fifa e have come out with a statement and they are saying that mark and everybody else that has a overlay input of the controller were told that it might be shown on the broadcast and the thing is with this is yes i think it's fine for normal but I think there's got to be some competitive integrity when you're showing it during a pen shootout. EA then said as well that the same situation was involved in the semi-final when Mark had his input overlay on screen. And the thing is, right, no matter what FIFA you say, it's not right. And I'm pretty confident in saying that Mark and Denman had no idea that their input overlay was on the big screen because I would probably say that even as a player and a coach you would probably be like wait hold on that is stupid let's not have my input overlay on the screen during penalties when I can only go one or three ways it's mind-boggling because he's had it on the game before I was shown it and I want a problem then it's not a problem now it's just such stupidity in, in, in my opinion and basically they decided not to take any action because it is in line with the players' terms and conditions, and the players were stated obviously about the overlay being on the stream. And I don't think anyone's going to take Manu Bashore's win away um, because I think at the end of the day, and you know what happened happened, and again it's not his or Renzo's fault. But you've got to feel for Mark a little bit here, like the guy's completely taken out of the penalty shootout because he's too busy trying to complain to the rest about his input overlay being on screen. And then also by doing that, still taking his penalties as well at the same time. So he's complaining to the rest and taking his penalties at the same time. So like the mental like fortitude that he'd been having to deal with then is insane. For Bashore, great winner, deserves it. But he's going to have that asterisk around it now because of what happened to Mark. And it's just not fair on Bashore or Team Hullet, but it's not found Mark and what he had to go through as well. So either way, FIFA just screwed it up and they've just screwed up both players. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We are 100% glad in the FGS, the FIFA Global Series is over.